Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Before we begin our discussion regarding IMCS, we will try to understand how IDEX is changing the way defense procurement has been happening and how it is helping the startups and the private companies to get into the defense manufacturing. So IDEX was launched by Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi during Defense Expo 2018. The aim of IDEX was to create an ecosystem to foster innovation and encourage technology development in defense and aerospace by engaging R&D institutes, academia, industries including MSMEs, startup, even individual innovators and provide them grants and funding and support to carry out R&D which has good potential for future adoption by Indian Armed Forces. IDEX is funded and managed by Defence Innovation Organisation DIO which is under Ministry of Defence. Over past four years, IDEX under DIO has been able to emerge as front runner in establishing the right kind of contract with startups and innovators and has gained substantial traction in the defence startup community. Currently, there are total 48 projects of Indian Army as a part of Defence India Startup Challenge, Open Challenges, IDEX Foggy and IDEX Prime Scheme which involves hand-holding of 41 startups for the development of latest state-of-art solution for challenges posed by Indian Army. For each challenge, a dedicated nodal officer and establishment as Centre of Excellence from Indian Army is nominated for hand-holding and providing continuous support in progressing their respective projects. A further boost was given to the initiative in April 2022 as the revised methodology for IDEX was approved by Honorable Aksha Mantri Shri Rajnath Singh which ensured the significant reduction in timelines of procurement to approximately 24 weeks. So the Indian Army has taken lead in awarding the first ever procurement order of an innovation for defense excellence IDEX project as per the revised procedure. The contract for procurement of an indigenously developed integrated mobile camouflage system IMCS for mechanized forces was signed with Indian startup Hyperstealth Technologies Private Limited on 14th March 2023. Now IMCS was the first system to be tried and trial evaluated as per single stage composite trial methodology which was based on the revised DAP procedure of 2020. RFP was issued to developing agency in September 2022 itself and within a record time of 6 months contract was finally signed on 14th March 2023. The balance acceptance of necessity accorded IDEX project of Indian Army are also under finalization with a contract likely by mid of April 2023. Now talking about this IMCS system, it comprises of low emissivity and CAM IIR coating and mobile camouflage system materials providing the ability to the armored fighting vehicle to merge with the terrain background. The technology consists of low emissivity coating and mobile camouflage system material which will provide significant capability enhancement in the stealth of armored fighting vehicles. Now this niche technology will be great help in indigenous stealth technology and provide a boost even to the AAP Nirvarta. IMCS will achieve a reduction in detection range of the armored fighting vehicle when viewed through handheld thermal imager or battlefield surveillance radar or tank based thermal camera under given environment and weather conditions and signature management by controlling the visual, thermal, infrared and radar signatures of the object. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.